All right, first thing you need to do is go to uh, link number one in the description, which should take you here, which is the download page for Mod Assistant, which is sort of a uh, mod manager slash mod installer. More info, right anyway. All right, and then to start off with, go to intro. I agree. Unlock some mods. Uh, there's going to be some pre-selected stuff. You want to keep that, obviously. Um, and then there are three mods, which I would consider essential uh, if you're going to be playing modded maps, and that is Noodle Extensions, as long as it was uh, libraries that uh, selected themselves with it, um, Mapping Extensions, and Chroma. Um, and then there's, you know, as you can see, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, cinema, uh, that's pretty good if uh, certain custom maps will have a uh, recommended cinema video. Um, basically what it's doing is just playing a YouTube video in the background uh, without sound, of course. So if you have, a, a, you know, a map you really like, uh, maybe you could add like the music video to that song or something like that in the background, whatever you want to do. Uh, Saber Factory, <clears throat> Saber Factory um, lets you kind of make your own sabers or download some that uh, other people have made, stuff like that. Uh, custom Avatars, give you a custom avatar, doesn't really do anything unless you're uh, recording yourself, but, uh, you know, still cool. Uh, custom Walls, why not? Uh, custom Notes. That'll just, you know, change uh, what the notes look like. Um, particle Overdrive, I think this is pretty cool. Um, it allows you to, uh, first of all, disable camera noise, which I think makes things look clearer. Um, but all the slash and explosion particles, you can make those uh, smaller, bigger, or, you know, increase the, uh, the amount of them there are. Uh, which, you know, helps with performance, or you can go the other direction and just have stuff lying around like crazy. Uh, custom campaigns, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Technicolor, I like Technicolor. Um, we already had Chroma, which is a lighting mod, uh, which is uh, basically, it's just, it's just uh, helps you out with um, I, I guess you could say it helps the modders out. It gives them lots of tools to work with, things like that. Uh, you have to have that, like I said, for, for a lot of the custom maps. Uh, but Technicolor is something where you can go in-game and uh, you, you mess with the settings and you can change from uh, just your regular you know, red and blue uh, walls and, and, and particles and, and whatever. You can have everything rainbow colors or a certain color scheme or, or whatever you want there. Um, what else do we have? Song browser is pretty cool. Uh, lets you basically uh, go in game to download download new songs. Um, you know, it has all kinds of filters and stuff like that in there too. And. I don't know. That's all I want to do. When you hit install or update, uh, it should over here, uh, it should find your game kind of automatically and uh, find what version you're on. Um, we'll get more into that later, but you know, for now, I'm on 1.18 and it, it found it auto. So when you hit install or update, it does its thing. Give it a few minutes. All right, and we should have all those uh, mods installed. Um, pretty much should be good to go on that front. Uh, and then as far as actually getting our songs, like I say, we had that uh, 
th there'll be a, uh, an option for that in game. Um, but if you're looking for specific stuff, you can go to link number two, which is bsaber.com. Um, we'll just go ahead and download the first one. Save file. Go into downloads. And it's going to download it in either a uh, zip file or a 7z. So you want to go ahead and extract it before you can do anything with it. And then copy the extracted uh, folder. And find your uh, Beat Saber. Uh, Steam apps. Uh, Beat Saber folder, and you will put the song in Beat Saber data custom levels, and paste it in there, and there it is, and uh, it's as simple as that. All right, so now that we've downloaded all of our mods, uh, we're gonna hop back into the game. Uh, first off, let's go through all the settings. Go to settings. You'll see a new option, mod settings. Um, this is the uh, particle overdrive. I like to turn off camera noise, global dust, you know, you do whatever you want. Uh, Technicolor, by default, it doesn't really do anything. So you go in here. Um, I like to change this to isolated event. That way it'll kind of go with the, uh, the background colors and, and, and uh, walls and things and will change along with the music. Uh, go into styles. This is the background lights. Um, the barriers and the bombs, that's what I like on. You can do, you know, whatever you want, of course. And then we'll get out of here. Uh, it's going to be black screen for a little bit. Don't worry about that. And over here, we have, uh, like I was saying, more songs. If you want to download stuff in game, this is how you do it. Um, that just tells you kind of popular songs. There's a search bar up top. Type in whatever you want. Uh, custom campaigns, uh, you can download some. It comes with a few by default. Uh, Saber Factory, it's pretty cool. Um, I have a bunch of them downloaded already. Uh, but basically you can change, you know, from your default Sabers to something, uh, I don't know, maybe it looks a little bit cooler. Um, some of them have special effects. Um, I'll show you some of that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, look at that. Isn't that just so intricate? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Fireworks, that's one of the uh, special effects. Avatars. Uh, yeah, that's your little, your little guy. I got some downloaded. Um, it doesn't, you know, like I say, if you're just playing, it doesn't really do anything, but... Uh, you know, if you're going to record yourself, then it'll kind of uh, simulate your your movements. All I have is just, you know, the controller tracking, but it kind of moves the legs around and stuff as, as it thinks you would, maybe. Uh, the custom notes. Um, I didn't, I didn't, when I recorded this, I didn't realize what was going on. But uh, if you look over to the right, it'll, it'll show you a preview of what the note would look like if you selected those. So yeah, now that we have all our uh, all our stuff set up and whatnot, um, let's go over and and just go to uh, you know one of the one of the original soundtrack uh, songs, um, which I mean it's you know that's, that's what came out when the game came out. Um, there's nothing going on as as far as fancy backgrounds or anything like that. You know, it's all just red and blue. It's just as basic as you can get. Uh, but with that Technicolor, that's going to change the lighting. And then this is a uh, cinema here, uh, which uh, it'll, it'll play a little video in the, in the background. And uh, I don't know, you can you can really change the map from something kind of boring and basic to you know having a lot going on if you want to.
then as far as custom songs go, uh, you just find that tab up top and you should be good to go.